All right, so we're at our final school, and it is Franklin K. Lane High School. That's we right. are in the, we're in Brooklyn. We're in what Cypress neighborhood Hills. are we in? Cypress Hills. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end, it's the end of a, another marathon day. Yeah, where we have been in many neighborhoods, and, and we are we're all blurring together. Very impressive structure. Yeah, this is a really awesome school. Great one to end on, and Jesse's going to read a little bit about it for us. Yeah, so Franklin K. Lane High School was a public high school in New York City. It began as a combined junior senior high school in 1923 and moved into its current building in 1937. In 2012, it was shut down by the city of New York for poor performance. New schools opened on the campus and they are administered by the New York City Department of Education as HS420. Today, the school is the campus site for five different high schools, the Academy of Innovative Technology, the Brooklyn Lab School, Cypress Hill Prep Academy, the Urban Assembly School for Collaborative Healthcare, and multicultural high school. There they are. I like that. I, you know, I've never noticed those signs before, but now that I know what it designates, I'm going to notice it all the time. Yeah. So this school is named for Franklin Knight Lane, who was the United States Secretary of the Interior during the administration of President Woodrow Wilson. Hmm. One of the accomplishments of his tenure was the formation of the National Park Service. Oh. Cool. At the time Franklin K. Lane High School was built, it was one of the largest high school buildings in the world. The perimeter of the building measures approximately one quarter mile. Whoa. Wow. The school building was a project of the WPA during the Franklin D. Roosevelt administration. 1936, according to that cornerstone over there. Oh, there it is. In September 2016, exterior shots of the school were filmed for the 2017 blockbuster Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah. Um, I didn't see that. While in <laughs> April 2019, interior shots of the school lobby were filmed for the 2019 blockbuster Avengers Endgame. Marvel's got the hookup. Oh my gosh, I guess they're the only ones allowed in the school. I also <laughs> didn't see that, but I know how it ends. The edifice <laughs> portrays the fictional Midtown School of Science and Technology that the protagonist Peter Parker, played by Tom Holland in the film, attends. Oh, okay, in that movie. Okay. Yes. That we didn't. Okay, cool. So that's a spoiler alert, I guess. Spoiler. Late spoiler alert that if you watch the Avengers Endgame, you'll see this school Some that someone shots. attends. Cool. Yeah. So the person that we want to know about who attended this, though, Who's this is not musician? this Peter Parker. This is Deirdre Muriel Roper, a.k.a. DJ Spinderella. DJ Spinderella. Yeah. So she was born August 3rd, 1970. Yeah. She's an American DJ, rapper, and producer, mm -hmm. and is best known as a member of the hip-hop group Salt and Pepper. Salt and Pepper. Roper was introduced to Salt and Pepper producer Herbie Azor just before the group was due to appear at the Westchester Music Festival in 1986. Oh yeah. We'll wait for this train to pass. Yeah. So we get a look at the field out here. You can see that sign for the graveyard. Yeah. Why is it the graveyard? Well, it we'll get to that in a minute. Oh, we won't tell Whoa. them that. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. The group's original DJ, Latoya Hansen, had missed several rehearsals and group appearances, and the group was looking for a replacement. Yeah. Future, oh wow, future radio and TV personality Wendy Williams had also auditioned yeah. to be the DJ. Yeah. But Roper was selected as the group's DJ by Azor, taking the name Spinderella at yeah. that time. Yeah. And all that happened right around the time that that group's first album was being released. So she ended up just getting right in the beginning. Yeah. Since she was 16 at the time of joining, 
Roper's parents had to give permission for her to travel around the country, um, which is crazy. I mean, she was, again, another yeah, we, person that was start, probably going to this school at the time. We start and end the episode with uh, 16-year-old musicians. Totally. So the trio became one of the most successful female hip-hop acts of all time. They released five studio albums and saw several platinum and gold singles. Spinderella has produced several songs on the group of albums as well. On May 3rd, 2019, Spinderella announced in an Instagram post that she had been terminated from salt and Peppa as of January 2019 and yeah. had broken her silence after the band hadn't made a public announcement regarding their parting of ways. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. That is too bad. But I guess it's a... Uh, well, well, now we're going to, I was going to say, I guess it's a good thing to end on as we are about to part our ways from anyone Going, watching. Yeah. But um, as we get to the conclusion, since this was our last school. And we're segueing but, from the school to the graveyard. Yeah, and that's why that track and field is called the graveyard, it's Pretty wild to go from a school like that to this gothic-y tombstone filled graveyard yeah well i remember when we were first walking out into this area and we saw the graveyard first and we saw the school but what we could see only was the tower of the school yeah which can see, you can't see right now but we'll be able to see it again in a moment foliage and we were trying to figure out is that a church is yeah. that a part of the graveyard what's going on i think we walked into the graveyard and went all the way up to the border before we realized that oh that's a different yeah. building yeah yeah kind of a vibey place to go to school huh yeah but yeah that's dj spinderella and that's our episode i think i think it was nine total different high schools yeah that sounds right all the different amazing musicians of varying genres and talents and uh yeah i'm i'm glad that we got a chance to check them all out yeah me too and you know this isn't really kind of like as poetic as i'd like it to be maybe if i had a few more days to think about it but during the day today i was thinking wow it's so cool that all these inspiring people went to high school around here and there's probably people that knew them before they were famous, right? Right. And then I thought, oh, there's probably future famous people <laughs> going to some of these high schools right now. Yeah, totally. So that's exciting. Stay tuned for our podcast 20 years from now. 2040. On all of that. Total, <laughs> total recap. <laughs> total, re total recap. All right. Um, all right, on that. Yeah, I think we'll... we'll uh, We'll close on that note. See you later. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, please hit the like button. Please. Hit the subscribe button. Sure. We're making it happen. There's only five more weeks There's left. There's only a few more weeks left. Yeah, if you uh, want to see our final walks, keep, in, keep, in, keep following. Oh my yeah. gosh. It's the end of the day. It's the end of the episode. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.